Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today I just wanted to make a really quick tutorial showing you how to add sort of shaded smoke to your games in the Blender Game Engine. So as you can see here, I have two different sets of smoke. One on the left, which is sort of fairly evenly lit, and then the one on the right, which is affected by two different lights. So as you can see in the scene, I have a normal point lamp, which is just red, and then I have a hammer here, which is blue. Now you'll notice the smoke on the right uh, is actually affected by the hemi, whereas the smoke on the left is not. And that's what I'm going to be showing you today, basically how to make the smoke be affected by the lighting around it. So either way, fairly quick tutorial. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get straight on into it. So file new, I'm going to make a new blend file, and I'm just going to call this spawner or something. All right, I'm going to add myself a floor, scale it up, choose my spawner here, and go to the game engine. Choose no collision, go to the rendering settings, GLSL, and an animation frame rate of 60. Then what I'm going to do is scale it down, go over here to game logic, I'm going to move around, and here I'll choose always and edit object. So over here, and then true pulse, let's just say something like 18. Uh, not 119, 18. Alright, there we go. So in here we want to have our spawn object, so our smoke. So let's go over here to layer 2, shift A, edit plane, this is going to be our smoke, so let's go ahead and call it smoke. Go ahead to materials, new, uh, no specular, make sure it's off. Then over here, turn on transparency, and turn off alpha, go over to the texture settings, image or movie, and in here we're going to go ahead and open up our smoke texture. So I'm just going to go to my documents and go ahead and choose a smoke texture, so this one here. Alright, so then scroll down, choose Alpha, and then Tab, U, and Unwrap. Alright, out of edit mode, go to texture mode, and there we go. So now back to the materials tab, and let's go ahead and get face orientation going. So billboard, and then press P, uh, um, RY90, and press P, and hopefully that worked well. Yep, okay, I'm going to pretend it did. Uh, then here, add always, and, oh, mouse, we want motion. Turn that up, and we want it to move upwards continuously. So let's just say 0.1. All right, cool. So that's that one done. And that's what you do, basically, for the smoke on the left. So this is just sort of the starting smoke that you do. So um, let's just quickly add it in, so you can sort of see. Um, uh, that's way too small. All right, let's try something out like that. Okay, cool, so that's sort of what it's going to look like. It's fairly average smoke. Now, before we continue, let's get some nice lighting going. So, Hemi, RZ, let's make it a fairly blue color. And then this one here, let's make it a, um, let's say, orangey, yeah, uh, orangey pink color, something like that. All right, and let's move it over here to see if the smoke is being affected. So, if I press 0 and press P, there you go. You can sort of see the Hemi is having a bit of an effect, but... The lamp here, this pink lamp, isn't really doing much. So to get the smoke shaded, all you have to do is go over here to our smoke. We're going to go to the texture tab, and we're going to go on the new texture slot. Now in here, we're going to click new, image or movie, of course, uh, UV, and then we're going to scroll down, turn off color, choose normal under geometry, scroll up under image sampling, choose normal map, and then I'm going to open up my image. So this image here will be down in the description below if you want to go ahead and get it. It's basically the normals of a sphere, I think, or something like that. Uh, but basically that's what you want to add, considering that most of the smoke textures are fairly circular. Anyway, so this almost works perfectly. So just make sure you've added that, and make sure you've checked normal map and normal down here and turned off color. Alright, cool. So, in this sort of view, if you press P, it shouldn't look any different, but in this view here... So, as you can see, it has a massive effect. We have the uh, sort of pink lamp making sort of bright, vibrant colors all over the smoke on one side, and then we have the hemi lighting up the other. So, either way, just wanted to show that to you guys. Thought you might find it helpful. Um, if you did, let me know with a like or comment down below, and be sure to subscribe for more of these sort of videos. So, either way, hope you enjoyed the video, have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.